Hello, today is the 24th of October 2020 and I'm once again looking at the auctions in Japan. Today's keyword is retro and I'm just searching in the um, electronics department because I think retro electronics are really cool, especially ones from Japan where quality has been the best for the past 50 or so years. So let's take a quick look. First one here, we've got some sort of lantern, probably a heater, sitting in the middle of a small table, probably a kotatsu type thing. Not actually sure. Next to that we've got a camera, an old Nikon FM3. Not sure what that is, can't really see a Minolta, so it's probably another camera. What is this? I don't even know anymore. Alright, old camera here, another camera, another heater, lantern, lantern, more heaters. Quite odd, I thought this would be gas powered rather than electric, old radio, radio, camera, camera, speakers, lens. Alright, so there's quite a few things in here, let's probably skip down to the bottom and see if there's anything else more interesting. Well that's pretty cool, some sort of Yamaha FM radio, alarm clock I would be guessing, and I sold a film, audio, who knows, movie reel, teak. So this is the brand that owns Tascam, if any of you actually use audio recording equipment. Let's keep on going, another camera, another boombox, I think I had a look at one of those before, twin tape, double speakers, Ooh, this one's quite interesting, Sony W600, so one of those things I was actually looking at before, except this one's actually white, so let's keep on going, oh man that's pretty cool, it's like a 1930s, 1920s um, transistor radio, got a heater element here, Headphones and headphone case. Alright, let's go to the next page. Oh, that looks interesting. What do you have here? A small camera. I'd assume that that's one of those um, disposable ones. The one's obviously kept in, so not disposable. A lot more lanterns, um, heaters, um, audio equipment, cameras. That one's pretty nice. That's an old stereo from the 90s. CD player on top. So it's probably one of the early CD players. Walkman. And what else is there? Bulk lot of um, audio players. So this one looks like a JVC um, Victor. That one looks like probably a National. Sony in there as well. 2000 yen, so that's what? $25, I think it is. 30 maybe. Alright, so one of these. My dad's actually got one of these old um, radios from the 70s. They're actually pretty cool. They come with um, these leather cases. Well, PU leather, I'd suspect. With um, the perforations for the sound to come through. Old television, CRT screen, that one's faded so it's turned a bit white. Another carry radio. And telescope. Binoculars there, if anyone is interested. That looks like a spy camera, so it leans over there. Shutter on top. Canon FX. Old um, radio again. This one looks like it's from the 60s or 70s. Reminds me of one of those old Fender amps. Another tripod. Um, Telescope, Sharp U4, not sure what model it is, probably U4SS or SR. This one's actually pretty cool, a national one in light green. It's quite a rare colour to see, even though they did come like that. Alright, so um, the next thing I want to look at is... Um, Showa era items, so let's go back to the home page. Let's quickly paste that in. Right, so what do we have here? That looks like the case for a samurai, and that actually looks like a samurai there. It's very expensive, so it might actually be a real sword. So um, I mentioned when I was looking at the junk auctions that there were a lot of um, replicas and fake weapons. I'm not sure about these samurai. Maybe they actually are real antiques, because that's a very high price for something in the um, auctions anyway. Over here we've got a Deco Tora, one of those old um, trucks that they used to modify, add lots of chrome and lights. This one might even be an aluminium wing, so sides flip up. Got a Ken Mary here, Savannah, Starlet. All right, so I'm not really into cars at the moment and don't really want to talk about them, but I'll point them out if you really wish. Um, R30 Iron Mask, another Savannah, Jimny, Suzuki, um, Mitsubishi Jeep, this is a Mazda, I forgot what they're called, Porters or something. That's a very nice old picture, might take a look at that sometime. Jimny again, Hachiroku, um, Daihatsu Midget, might even be the Mazda version, the single wheel at the front. 
I'm not sure what that is. Probably some sort of um, machining equipment. Motorbike there, BMW R80, that's pretty cool. Um, a Suzu 117, that looks like a, not a Samba, um, Honda Acti, I'd guess. Honda S800. It's at um, Nissan Sunny, might even be the truck. Uh, GPZ. So one of those old um, Kawasaki's, um, I was looking at one of those, this one of my first bikes, look at this, this is a Kyushu Kai CBR400R, that's pretty cool, I mean CBR400F, um, Toyota Century 1977, so that's actually an old model, um, Toyota Crown, what's that, MS50, some little dioramas, that's actually pretty nice, um, Hachiroku, Hakoscar, A60, Stelica Supra, so this looks like a Toyota Corona, uh, Corona, yep, um, Cedric Gloria, Gloria, some nice magazines here, I don't even know what that is, 5,000 yen gift voucher, so that's about $80 here, a Phil ADZ, um, K truck, I forgot what it is, Celica, what is this, I'd say that's probably an old Datsun, T3 transporter, more equipment, Alright, there's probably enough cars. The Suzu Battery, hey, that's actually pretty cool. You don't really see those up for sale very often. Hook a scar, headers for a motorbike, another Jimny. Alright, let's skip the cars for now. What do we have here? This is like the Tokyo Tower in a DVD. Not sure what that could be. I just remember that one of the Godzilla movies actually had Godzilla attacking it or something. Hey look, Z20 Sora. Let's take a look at that. It looks like a GZ20 pre-facelift. We'll take a look soon. Let's go to the next page. And let's see what other interesting items are there. Some pretty cool dioramas. They actually get into real um, intricate detail into these. Another Samurai, Ultraman, Koi Fish. It's quite interesting to see. Hey, look, it's a pocket watch. Seiko Shah. I wonder if that's actually Seiko. If it is, then I might actually consider buying it. Celica. Some sort of um, Kaido racer. An old ship. It looks sort of um, Titanic era, except Titanic is a triple um, smokestack ship. Hey, look, Mitsubishi Lancer EX, one of the old GSRs. That's pretty nice. You usually see them in the rally in New Zealand. What's that? Mazda Familiar, I think. And S600, Mazda Cosmo, Ultraman. Even if if that is even Ultraman, don't quote me on that. Uh, Camaro. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Some sort of motorbike box. I don't actually know what it's for. Ultraman again. Cedric. So there are also some old magazines, idols. They're quite interesting. Not really into dolls, so I'll skip those. Grandfather clocks, or the miniature versions with the um, ballast down below. Ultraman. Is this a violet or something? Cherry. That's quite cool. This and cherry. Front wheel drive. Hey, look, this is, um, I think that's one of those old um, ashtrays that they used to have at car dealerships. Quite rare to find them. I don't think they actually make them anymore, but if I'm correct, then you take off the top and it's um, an ashtray. Honda. They look like a USB stick for a minute, but I'm not sure what it is. Probably just a signpost. Some old coins. That's nice. Uh, proper full diorama for those little scale model cars, probably 124 scale. You might have seen a couple of those around my desk. Mercedes 460, RC airplane. Some more magazines. I think magazines are quite interesting, especially pamphlets and brochures. What's that, an old Falcon Fairlane sort of car? A diorama of um, probably the Mazda version by the look of it. Same vehicle as the beginning of um, my neighbor Totoro. So I've got a few tabs open now and let's take a look at what we found here. So this is a Yamaha thing I was talking about that looks like an alarm clock with an FM AM um, receiver in it. It's pretty cool, pretty old, pretty retro. It might actually not be an alarm clock. It's probably its own sort of stack. Um, let's see if the translate works because I'm not good at reading kanji. Tune amplifier. Okay, so it is an amplifier. That's pretty nice. Let's go next item. So this is the real teak. So it's probably for an audio tape rather than a video. 
yep, looks like audio equipment to me, that's pretty cool. These were actually um, the highest quality units you could buy back in the 60s and before. So that's pretty nice, 9,000 yen, how much is that? About 150, getting close to 200. All right, so this thing, um, I looked at one of these in the other video. They're not actually, um, well, there's not actually more that I can point out other than, other than it being white. It's quite rare to see it in this color, 1,200 yen. They usually go up to about $300. I haven't actually seen a white one before, so I wouldn't know the price of them. All right, let's go next item. So this is an old radio. That's actually pretty cool, pretty retro. It looks like it's from the 60s. Everything looks to be English. Not sure about those small things, except if there's any close-ups. All right, so that sticker looks like it's in um, Japanese. It's quite interesting. 2,000 yen, very affordable. Let's go next item. This is the Toyota Sora, so one of my favorite cars. Pretty facelift by the look of it. It looks pretty bland, missing the body kit and everything. It doesn't have that little um, notch in the trim, so it's um, G-Series. You have pretty facelift tail lights. Everything's original. I wonder if it's a manual. That's a 1G um, GTEU twin turbo auto. All right, so a little diorama shop here. I can't actually read kanji, so I'm not sure what it is for. It looks like a magazine shop in an old um, Kyoto style building. These old photos that I thought were interesting. Gotta be pre war by the look of it. Alright, so this motorcycle box, I'm not actually sure what it is, 860mm, so almost a metre long. I can't really see what's inside, some sort of rope. I'm not sure if it's a carry box or if it's something that you would have seen at a dealership or maybe even a signpost. I'm guessing it's a signpost, you probably fill it with lights and have it illuminated. Bit of damage here, let's go to the next item. So this, what does that say, Cresta. So the old Toyota Cresta 70 series. And let's see, does the top come off? It does, so there you go. Very tidy, it doesn't look like anyone's actually used it as an ashtray, and if they have, then they've looked after it very well, probably polished it inside and out. Very nice. Let's go next item, so Ultraman I think it is. Um, don't quote me on that, let's actually translate this so I can read it really quickly. Kamen Rider, so I've been getting it wrong the whole time. <laughs> I wonder what this is, it's like a carry case for something. I wonder what was originally in it. Oh well, let's go next item. Wrong way. So this one, I said I wasn't going to look at cars, but looked at the 20, and this one is actually quite rare. So this is a Fair Lady Z. You'd probably think it's a Z31 300ZX, but actually no, it's a 200ZR. You can tell by the bonnet scoop, and also at the back, it's got these big full-length um, red tail lights. So what makes them special is that it was the first vehicle to be fitted with an RB engine. This one had a top mount intercooler on a on an RB20DET, so 2 litre turbo, that later went on into other vehicles such as the Skyline and Sephiro. Alright, let's close that, take a look at this. So this is a um, catalogue for an old cassette recorder. I thought it was quite interesting. This cassette recorder was um, the style from the late 70s. Uh, what caught my attention is the beach buggy. I figured they would have been built from the 80s onwards, but this this is quite an old catalogue, and to see one of that on there is actually quite interesting. Let's go to the next one, so this one caught my eye as well. This is a Toshiba Girl on a different brand called Oryx. I'm guessing that Oryx is a Toshiba brand. Um, Showa 59, so that's um, 1984. Got some cool audio equipment here. I'm guessing that Oryx is the um, high-end, hi-fi audio brand of Toshiba CD players. So um, this is before my time, and I didn't actually know that CDs existed in the 80s. As far as I know, um, they were 1989 onwards because of this. It says 1989 at the top, Samsung, so I wasn't actually sure that Samsung was a brand back then, Korean made. CD radio cassette, this is probably the earliest brochure for a portable CD player that I've ever seen. Let's go next tab, National, so this one's actually pretty cool. It's got to be early 80s sometime, RX F15, so we've actually got an F30 at home I believe it is. What I like about this is it actually looks really... Um, to me, it looks like one of those old toaster ovens rather than a stereo. Got a tape counter there, there TV sounds, so you can pick up TV channels. Next item, Panasonic. So um, the previous item was a National back in the 80s and before Panasonic used the brand National for their 
portable audio systems. They use the brand Kenwood for the high-end um, audio systems. Next item, so this one looks like it's from the late 90s this time. Looks very alien. I don't know if the bottom slots here are actually for subwoofers or for the speakers, but it does look very cool. Looks like a CD player. Here it is open. You've got a little LCD screen on top and two tape players. Um, I'm guessing that CD player is this little bar down the bottom here. Very space age, very cool looking. And this one, alarm clock. So some people might not be interested by alarm clocks, but what I thought was interesting is that it says National and Panasonic on it, which is quite um, odd for them to use both brands in the same product. It's a bit like Victor and JVC saying Victor JVC company. And this one, I really like this. Um, in the description it says it's from America. America. And um, bandwidth is not Japanese. Looks very cool, got a blue stripe down here, kind stripe at the top, cyan um, fading lines over there, pink accents all around, pink, 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 looks very cool, I'm not sure if it actually works, but this is actually something that I'd really like to buy, uh, look at that, you can see the original colour is white, but it's actually sun faded around the top, cassette player, not sure if that's working, 7,200 yen, so it's about $150, and um, I've actually looked at one of these on eBay, there's two at the moment and they're only about $39 each, so I'd probably go with an eBay one, but they don't actually have this exact model, this one looks really cool with the extra pink and blue and light grey accents. Anything else? So that's probably it for today, there's a Nissan Bluebird I think it is, no Laurel. That's pretty much the show auctions that I have to show you for today, if you enjoyed this video then feel free to give it a like.